Mayor Peck. Before I get the star now, I'm going to give you all this. This is going to come out. Mary Patrick, Marcel Georgia. Um, on May 19th, you had uh, Melissa Slocum come up here and talk to you about the 911 budget. I was not here, but I did watch the video. And I was very, very concerned about what I saw on that video because Ms. Slocum got up here and made two or three comments that were absolutely untrue. This is something that you need to be aware of because none of you are aware of it. This happened in 2012 was when this happened. And I went back through the minutes of which I've given you copies of. Uh, Ms. Slocum made the comment, first of all, that it was somebody else's fault. Of course, we all know that means Lori Smith. And that she didn't know anything about it. When she got home, she read about it in the paper, which is a total falsehood because Melissa Slocum stood right up here herself and gave us the presentation. And not only in April, which is the first set of minutes here, April 2nd, when this was uh, brought to us to go out for bid and everything was explained as to how it would work and how we would use flash money and as soon as one of their um, uh, notes was paid off, then they would use that same amount of payment or close to that same amount of payment to continue to pay what they wanted, which was consoles, carpeting, and radios. Then into, on September 12th, which was five months later, and the bids finally came back, we had a 30-minute discussion. You can go back to your tapes and listen to this if you would like to. That is summarized here in these minutes. And during this 30-minute summary, if you can even read the very last line of this on page two of those minutes, Ms. Slocum explained that the higher bid was accepted on the consoles, blah, blah, blah. Ms. Slocum was also here. She didn't read about this in the paper. If you'll read these minutes, you'll see how this was done, how it was very well explained to the commissioners. This wasn't something that wasn't fully explained, which uh, seems to be the opinion from what I saw on the video. This was very well explained to the commissioners as to how it was going to work. So what has happened, I don't know, but Ms. Slocum should be able to explain that she was here, she brought us the information, she discussed the information with us. It was discussed in much detail. As you can see, even in these minutes, it was clarified exactly what was going to happen and how it was going to happen so that there wouldn't be a strain on the budget. This wasn't just something that maybe, sort of, kind of. It was specifically brought up. If you want to hear more of the detail of the 30-minute discussion, I'm sure you can get the tape and listen to it. But I wanted to bring this to your attention. It, it infuriated me for someone to stand up here and say this was somebody else's fault. She didn't know anything about it when she knew full well about it. And we're talking about an extra 21000 or something dollars as to what it was that she has requested. So I did want you to know about it. I know you haven't been here. And uh, I am glad that you, we had this meeting because as I've said before, citizens don't have a chance to bring things like this up because you never allow citizen comments. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am.